Oh, what's up, y'all? In this video, I'm just going to be showing you how to replace your lower ball joints on a, this is a LS430 2003. All right, so here are the tools required. Um, so you obviously need your new lower ball joints. This is OEM. All right, this is the passenger side one. I just replaced that one. I'm going to show you how to do the driver side. Uh, just a wire brush. Uh, you need one like this and then a tie rod end puller all right so AutoZone you'll probably find I'm renting this one but I bought this one it's the same thing really just a different style technique and this is to remove the uh, actual lower ball joint from the um, uh, I can't remember what that part is anyways uh, some WD-40 all right you need this take off the wire off of the uh, uh, it's it's a Toyota's cotter pin pretty much take that off Half drive ratchet, torque bar, uh, 17 millimeter, 19 millimeter, and 21 millimeter uh, sockets. All right. Uh, if you got any power tools that'll help you, other than that, um, it's a pretty simple process. Already did the passenger side. All right. So let me take you under. Make sure you uh, put put your front end on uh, jack stands. Do them both. Uh, it just makes it easier. Got a jack. All right. So here are the parts you're gonna have to take off. I'm not sure if you can see. Anyways, there is these bolts right here. One, two. I believe those are 17 millimeter. The lower ball joint, one that is right there. I think that is 19 millimeter. And then you need to take off the tie rod end, All right? Which is right here. You see that right there? I think that one's 17 millimeter as well. Anyways, first step is taking that off. And what you want to do is utilize this right here. All right, and just line it up like that. All right, make sure this pin is under that bolt. It's kind of like uh, cuddling up under that bolt. All right, and you just tighten it up and it should snap off. That's step one. All right, step two is. Um, removing the bolt right next to it so it should be this one right here all right i'm not sure if you can see that right there that's the one you need to take off all right that's step one and step two once i'm done with that i'll go ahead and come back all right so step one complete all right took off the tie rod end picked it up put it off to the side let it dangle all right and so here is that 17 uh, millimeter bolt I was talking to you about. Take that one off and then go ahead and take off that second one that's located under here. All right, again, 17 millimeters, lefty loosey, righty tidy. Right, and this, you can just push it off to the right. All right, it should be fine to dangle there for a few minutes until you can take off this uh, lower ball joint. All right, and for this one, you're gonna have to take off Pin. All right. All right. There it is. Set that down, and then for this one, should be a nineteen millimeter. If I am switched on. Yep, so this one's a 19 millimeter. All right, and for this, what I do is, uh, now this one's supposed to be torqued at 119 foot-pounds. All right, so I know this one's gonna be a little tough. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is cheat with my air, air, uh, my air gun, and then um, I'll come back when that is done. I'm just, so what I'm gonna do, take off that bolt, <clears throat> all right, and then I'm gonna get myself set up to use that, uh, that uh, ball joint separator, all right. All right, so I'm back, took off that nut real quick. All right, so this is that uh, lower ball joint separator I was talking to you about. Uh, maybe call it like a pitman arm uh, puller at AutoZone, but either way, you set it up just like that, right under the metal portion of the uh, lower control arm. All right, and so this lines up perfectly with the bolt. All right, so what you're just gonna do is just uh, tighten it up. All right, and so that it's pushing that lower ball joint down 
out of the lower control arm. All right. It's probably just going to be a loud pop. Gonna tie me with two arms. Right. And there it is. That was super loud. Anyways, we get the job done. All right, so here's the old one. Here's the new one. I'm doing this at about uh, 117,000 miles uh, on the Lexus, so it's it's lasted 15 years. I can't complain. That's why I'm going back to OEM. Um, I won't, probably shouldn't have to worry about it for another 15 years, you know. So, um, next step is to go ahead and, for your new ball joints. All right, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and do the exact same, but in the opposite order. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and tighten, uh, put this up through the lower control arm. Put the nut on and torque it down to 119 foot pounds. All right, that's uh, that's what my uh, manual says. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and tighten the bolt off to the right that comes in through here. All right, and this gets torqued down to 83 foot pounds. All right, so once those two are complete, I'll go ahead and uh, show you the next step, which is tightening up that tire. All right, Jen, so I'm back. I'm done with those two bolts and uh, torquing down the lower ball joint, putting that cotter pin through. Time for the tie rod end. All right, so you should be able to see it from there. All right, so you go ahead and just put it through that, uh, to the lower um, ball joint, all right? Tighten up, make sure you put your, your bolt on correctly. It, it goes on like this, not the other way around. All right, and just remember, this one gets tor torqued down to 43 foot pounds torque all right so once you torque that down put that cotter pin through make sure it's secured um that's the end of the job honestly it should take you no more than about an hour and a half two hours uh for the entire job so um yeah it's it's pretty simple to do uh something that you can do by yourself with minimal tools um and uh, direction, just use this video. Uh, it's pretty simple. Just make sure you put uh, jack stands into your front end. Um, makes uh, makes everything just easier. Um, this this job is real easy if you have the the right tools. Okay. And so I did try putting the bolt on backwards um, and then banging on the bolt uh, to try and get that ball joint out. That that thing was not budging. Just keep in mind these these. These parts have been together for about 15 years, depending on the year of your vehicle. All right, so when I tried banging on uh, the the bolt, all right, so what I mean by that is, say if I'm trying to take this off, putting that bolt on backwards, so that I'm banging on the bottom end of the bolt, the, the nut, okay? Um, I did that for about a good 10 minutes, trying to budge. All right, so I went out and got the right tools that I needed. All right, so if you do that, uh, you'll be set, good to go. Let me know if you got any questions. All right, see you.